Good morning. For Traders Exclusive, this is George Kachuk for RCM Wealth Advisors, reporting to you from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago. I'd like to take a look at the equity markets. Uh, we talked about last week how the equity market possibly uh, was getting into a new uptrend. However, last week's uh, action at the end of the week could pretty much be negating that. We saw a pretty huge sell-off on Friday on the NASDAQ and the S&P. Volume was pretty heavy on the NASDAQ. Many of the tech stocks were getting crushed. And pretty much we're seeing a follow-through to the downside on that this morning. Now, the S&P 500 is still above its uh, lows that it made on uh, January 20th. That's when we had our bottoming day, reversal day. However, the NASDAQ has pretty much undercut the lows uh, of last year. Uh, still above the October 2014 lows, but pretty much undercut last week's lows and the lows from uh, the prior week. So that tells us there's a lot of selling going on. The, the volume is pretty heavy this morning. So if we don't get some kind of meaningful bounce here, uh, we could see further downside. Uh, also, we look at the top performing industry groups. All of a sudden, it's the utilities that are leading the charge, which is a defensive group. That's not the kind of thing you want to see in a good market. And also uh, food stocks. So uh, very def defensive in nature. Now, so what's a trader do in a situation like this? Well, if you're a short-term trader, uh, it's probably a good time if, to start raising some cash if you haven't already. Now, however, if your outlook's uh, pretty much for longer term, you might want to take a look at some of the compelling valuations we're seeing, specifically in the beat-up biotech sector. Uh, stocks like Gilead and Celgene uh, look like they've pretty much bottomed up, and actually those stocks are uh, catching a bounce this morning. And the reason I, s I say uh, compelling valuation is they still have great franchises going forward, lots of drugs, uh, making money hand over fist, and uh, despite a poor market, uh, that's not going to stop them. Similarly, we're seeing a little bit of a bounce in Apple, uh, also positive sometimes today. So that stock also may have bottomed. Perhaps it might have been oversold. Uh, Facebook's got hit pretty hard today again, uh, but we're seeing a little bit of bounce in there. And again, to just tell you how bad this market is, a few of the stocks that did break out, Facebook after earnings, pretty much reversed uh, close to 15% now. Same with uh, Alphabet, Google broke out after its earnings report, hit a new high and pretty much uh, came off of that level too. So those are still great stocks, but you gotta be careful here, but I would look at, take a look at some of those. So in summary, if you're short term, look out. If you're a longer term investor, you can look at some compelling valuations, uh, specifically some of the larger cap biotech stocks. They've gotten a little bit overbeaten. They're selling in multiples like uh, we haven't seen in quite a long time. So, as always, the price and volume be your guide. This is George Kachuk for RCM Wealth Advisors reporting to you from the CME Group trading floor. And have a great trading week.